Hey everyone, Matt Montanez here again with the Home Pro Shop Bottle Cutters Club. Today, as always, I got my bottle cutter right here in front of me and I'm gonna be doing a little project for you guys. And this one's uh, fairly easy, um, it's just a little fun, thought just something I would do because I had some uh, bottles lying around and I didn't just wanna throw them out, so it's like, why not use them and make something out of it? So I decided to do this project today. And today I got these Coca-Cola bottles. At first it's crazy because I thought this was a sticker and this is why I decided to do it because I thought this was a sticker and it's not it's actually like printed onto the glass so there's no way to take off this label and I was like cool so let's cut and just make it into like a small little drinking glass you know let's cut off the top here and then uh, you can use them as just drinking glasses or if you don't want to use it as drinking glass you'll have a nice little flower base there too I guess you can cut it off a little taller or even right there is fine too and you can put flowers in there or something and I got three of them like I said I just didn't want to throw them out because why waste them when you can make something out of it and if you don't like it as a drinking glass well then you can always do something else fancy maybe cut off the bottom use that as an ashtray like before we did our ashtray video. As always, when you're first getting started, you wanna make sure you have water boiling on your stove top and also put some ice cold water in the freezer so when you get your scoring, you can dip it in either one and you'll get bottles to separate. And I'm gonna measure this out here. Let's just put this on real quick. Let's get one bottle, put it down. And let's get closer to measure this. And we gotta flip this around. And that's the beauty about this beautiful Home Pro Shop bottle cutter is just by doing something as simple as flipping the base, um, you can get a different kind of cut here. That's just right above the label, which is pretty good. I mean, that's gonna be like right underneath. Let's see if you guys can see that. It has like an indent right here. It can be right under this bump, right in that groove. And I think that looks pretty good. So it's gonna be right above the label. So let's do that, let's run with that. And I'm hoping I can get all three of these bottles scored correctly because um, I only got three and I want more than two for sure. <laughs> you know, one for me, one for the wife and one for the little one. So as always, I got my base going on my left hand side. And since I do it that way, I like to just guide the bottle with my left hand and the right hand, I rotate it towards me. And that's just, just to get one even score around with the support on your left hand. If you do it the other way, then make sure you put enough support on your right hand and just remember the trick here is even pressure throughout the entire rotation. You gotta make sure that you don't add too much pressure or it's going to crack funny. Let's guide it and let's rotate it. I made it to the notch. Let's just look at that score and see how it looks all the way around. Pretty clean, nice clean score there. And let's do the second bottle. And as you can see, uh, this technique I'm using for this bottle, because it's a little thinner than um, wine bottles and other beer bottles that I've used. So um, I'm guiding it with my left hand. When I rotate it, I'm just grabbing the nozzle and rotating towards me instead of trying to push it down and rotate. Actually, I found, find that I have more control by grabbing the bottleneck and rotating it. So you might want to try that sometimes too. It actually feels like I have more control that way, especially since now this time my left hand's putting all the pressure down and I don't need to worry about my right hand doing uneven pressure since you're rotating, lifting, rotating, and lifting, doing it this way, and then lifting to rotate. That can cause uneven pressure. So if you do it this way with your left hand giving all the pressure down and holding it in place, you can give a nice, even, consistent pressure. And you can rotate it a little bit faster. So that score looks beautiful there. Very clean. Let's get our bottles to the side and let's get our bottle cutter there. And I'm gonna get my water. All right, everyone, I'm back. So I got my hot boiling water here. You can see the steam and my ice cold water here. And I like to dip it. I like to use that technique. So I like to dip the score, fully submerge it in the cold water. And I'm gonna do two bottles at once. And you wanna um, count about 10 seconds or whatnot. And um, then you wanna go to the hot water. And because how the bottlenecks are, they're a little long, you gotta make sure you got deep enough containers with your water. And I know what you guys are thinking. Hey Matt, you know, you've done a video like this before. You know, you did your beer bottle cut. Well, I wanted to do this one because of the shape of the bottle. It's a little different, it's unique. And I like that. It has ridges and stuff, and it has the Coke bottle shape. 
So that's why I want to do this video. It's just a little different versus just your standard um, smooth bottle that goes around like the wine bottle. With the little different shape makes this a little more interesting, a little more fun to do. Let's run with it, right? And if it doesn't separate the first time you dip the bottles from the full to the hot, then just do it again and it will separate. You shouldn't have to add any pressure of your own. It should separate automatically. And there's one. Check that out. Let's start this one. There's number two. Look at that, nice clean. Let's see if we can get this last one to be clean as well. Back and forth. And three. Look at that. Another clean cut. I'm three for three on this project. All right. Uh, let me move this out the way. So I brought one back. And um, the cool thing is, if you've seen my uh, toothbrush stand video, you could actually use these as, you guessed it, a toothbrush stand. So let's get two projects in one. <laughs> And just sand this side down and you know my technique I get the the sandpaper laid on the table get the edge of the bottle and I just rotate like this back and forth until it gets smooth and we'll do the same thing with the bottles it's nice and smooth, but be careful because like I said the this labels like printed on it so you don't want to sand too close or you might actually scratch off the label extra careful with this project here. There we go. Nice and smooth, no sharp edges. Let's test this bad boy out. Let's get a little water. Here we go. Nice clean water in there and just a sip. Works kind of cool. So yeah, there you go everybody. That was the little project today with our uh, Coca-Cola glasses and we got nice three of them all looking nice and clean as always everyone thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and if you got any of your own ideas or want to see me do something special or have any questions or want me to try to figure something out feel free to drop a comment below don't forget join the facebook group that's where you're going to join our nice community of the home pro shop bottle cutters club and everybody there is active they give ideas out they post their projects so make sure you join them and if you want to purchase a beautiful bottle cutter like mine, the link's in the description below. So go ahead and go click that. As always to you crafters, until next time.